All right, at the top we have a 3 hertz frequency wave. On the bottom we have a 1 hertz frequency wave. Uh, so the top we're going to get more waves per second crossing the, through that point than we will on the bottom. But if you take a look at the crests of the top wave and the crest of the bottom wave, you'll notice that they are moving at the exact same speed. So wave speed does not vary uh, when frequency changes. In fact, if a wave and another wave are going through the same material, they're going to be traveling at the same speed. What changes the frequency uh, is the amount of oscillations every second by the source. In this example, waves of different frequencies are being generated in the same medium, a spring. Even though the waves are different frequencies, if you watch the crest of both waves, you'll notice that they move at the exact same speed because it's the medium that determines wave speed. For example, we have a faster wave on the top part of the screen and a slower wave in the lower part of the screen. Notice though that the frequency is the same. Again, frequency is determined by the source of the wave and you can see the piston in both screens oscillating at the exact same rate and the same number of waves crossing through the window as well. Here's another simulation. When the wave crosses a boundary into a new medium and speeds up, the frequency of the source doesn't change, the wavelength simply gets longer. If the wave slows down, the waves get shorter. Either way, the same number of waves pass a point each second. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching.